Whoa, 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 whoa. We got it. Bro, look at the followers. Look at the followers, guys. Doesn't get much prettier than that. And that right there is going in the saltwater pond. No, no! What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got the rod out today and the goal is to catch parrot fish for the saltwater pond. A lot of you have been requesting it and today we're gonna try to make it happen. First things first, we gotta find some bait. Bro, look at all the sergeant majors. Holy cow, they're everywhere. Uh, just imagine throwing a big old cast in on them. If we wanna do a restocking on the pond, this is the spot we're coming to. So what we're, oh bro, there's a parrot fish. Oh my gosh, look how pretty he is. Two of them, a little one, and then a bright blue with like green on his tail. That's so epic. And we have caught them before guys, but at the time we didn't know if we were allowed to take him back for the pond. I now know we're able to take one back for the pond. Look, he's eating seaweed. All right, this is insane guys. We got seaweed, mangrove seeds, and that's what we're gonna be using for bait. We gotta get one, but like I was saying, we're now able to take one back for the pond. So here we go. Now for bait, they don't eat shrimp, nothing like meaty. So uh, they're pretty much like vegetarians. So surprisingly, that right there is our bait we're using today. So these are mangrove seeds right here. They're pretty hard. We gotta cut them into some nice chunks so the parrotfish can eat them. So we're gonna need a sharp knife, but thankfully we got husk. So Hust is one of the most exceptional outdoors camping knife the world has ever seen. It can be used for many different outdoor occasions, not just camping. For example, we're cutting up mangrove seeds right now. But I'm just gonna show you how sharp this knife exactly is. It is made from Japanese inspired steel. First things first, look at the quality this packaging comes in. I mean, this is just the box. I can only imagine what the knife looks like. Hooey, dude. No, no, they were not messing around. I mean, I haven't even used it yet, but by the looks, dude, this is a good looking knife. Got our mangrove seeds right here. Now the goal is to get them in nice little chunks. So we're just gonna chop them like that. Dude, I'm barely putting any pressure and it's slicing this mangrove seed right in half. <laughs> All right, a couple more pieces and we should be good to go. I will say, this is probably one of the most controllable, balanced, and sharpest knives I have ever used. I mean, the fact you can put your finger through this little hole right there helps a lot, just having control, but uh, yeah, we are good to go. Now, if you want your very own Husk knife, Husk is running a 70% discount on their authentic Japanese-inspired knives. You can even test out Husk knife with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This deal won't last long, so make sure you go click the link in my description down below. Thank you, Husk, for sponsoring today's video. Let's catch some parrotfish. So we got a little piece of mangrove seed. We're gonna hook it on just like this. It's a little, like this thing is really hardy, so it's hard to get in there. But once it's in there, it's not going anywhere. The only problem is there's so much stuff in the water that like it's hard for my bait to stand out. If you look here, like you know what I'm saying? There's a parrotfish right there, though. Oh, 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 dude! You know what we need? What? We got to make this sink somehow. Switching baits. I'm gonna go with the seaweed. Now the seaweed should hopefully sink. I'm really hoping it does. And you're like probably wondering how do you hook seaweed? But uh, this is how. You just take that hook, stick it through there as many times as you can, and boom, you got seaweed as bait. Oh, 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 bro, 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 I want him for the pond. Imagine that thing in the pond, bro. Just keep an eye. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. They're on it, they're on it. There's so many on it, bro. I don't know if they ate it, but here we go. We got him, we got him. Bro, look at the followers. Look at the followers, guys. Doesn't get much prettier than that. We just have to be careful. We got light line, rocks everywhere. Followers attacking him. Beautiful. so risky, it's so hard because we have two people with us right now, guys. Ah, got me. We gotta send it, we gotta power flip it, bro. There we go. Oh, we did it. Look at how pretty this fish is, guys. I mean, bro, it doesn't get better than that. And that right there is going in the saltwater pond. <laughs> here we go. Get him in this bucket here, and then we're gonna move him into the cooler. So look at how pretty 
the colors are on that fish. Just imagine that swimming throughout the rocks in the pond. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be in this cooler. Woo. We got our pair of fish right here in the cooler. He's looking A1. We're gonna try to catch a second one, so he has a buddy. Baiting back up with our seaweed. It's looking good. One more would be so sick just to have a school of parrot fish throughout the pond. Well, I mean, if we got an orange one too. We have a blue and an orange one. Look at these waves. Baby parrot fish on it. Oh, there's an orange one. There's an orange one. We got him, we got him. Oh, boys. Oh my gosh. Don't break off. This line is so light. We're using six pound test. So it's just really risky, but it's fun. Definitely puts on a fight. Just gotta let him pull though. And this right here is an orange one. So we got a blue and an orange parrotfish. Oh my gosh, bro. He's like pink. All right, I'm power flipping him. No, no! Oh, hook pulled, guys. Last second. Dang. Ah. All right, let's try one more time. Oh, there's one on top eating. There's two on top. Right there, look at them. They went down. Oh, he got, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We got him. That one's ours. All right, got him right here. Got the net this time. Scoop him up and boom. There he goes in the cooler. Oh, look at that. Now they're a little confused, but trust me guys, this pond is massive. So they're gonna have plenty of room, plenty of friends to swim around with and a great home with free food. So uh, it's gonna be pretty sick. You guys have been requesting this for a very long time. Today we made it happen. So uh, let's get these guys back to the pond. All right guys, so we're just about to leave the spot and we ran into a subscriber. He's here from Texas with his wife doing some fishing. He stopped at this area since he saw we fish here a lot, but uh, he doesn't have a rod. He just has fish traps and a dip net. So he wants to catch some small aquarium fish for his aquarium. So we're gonna gift him with a little rod right now. Get his reaction. Let's see, probably be stoked. Literally just met him about 10 minutes ago. Hey Nate, I wanna gift you this man. Oh, wow, man. Catch some aquarium fish. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Man, Good luck. Awesome, man. Yes, sir. Of course. That's how it's done right there. That's how it's done. He didn't have a rod. He's going fishing. We had to hook him up. It's kind of like an extra rod, so we ended up gifting it to Nate, one of our top subscribers. We are back at the house. Our parrotfish have been acclimating for about 45 minutes. We're gonna get them in the quarantine pond. They're gonna be in there for about three weeks just to make sure they are all free of parasites, any diseases, and then they'll make their way to the main saltwater pond. Here we go. Just to be clear, we are allowed to take one per person for our aquariums. It's me and David here. So we got one blue one and one orange one. And you're only allowed to take them for aquarium purposes only. It's weird, but hey, I'm not complaining. Look at that. That's insane, bro. And they are a little dull color right now because they're a bit stressed from being in the white cooler, but as they get more comfortable, the colors will come back out. Oh, oh. There you go. See you, buddy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. They have plenty of rocks, plenty of space, plenty of flow. They'll be very happy in here, but again, it's only for three weeks. Look at them in the current. How sick is that? Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bro, he's just swimming right in that current. He loves it. Oh. All right, let's get the blue one in. Dude, this one's my favorite. We need some names in the comments down below for both of these guys. And their color should give you a hint. Oh my. Dude, I want to get a shot in the sun real quick. Look at the colors on that fish. Here we go. Got a good grip on him. See you, buddy. Oh, go with your friend. Dude, I'm so stoked we got two of them because now they can school up. They'll hang out with each other. Look at them. Oh, bro, just wait till we can see those in the glass panel, just swimming through the rocks. There they are just hanging out in the current, swimming around. We'll definitely keep you guys updated throughout their whole process in quarantine. 
But uh, that wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya! What the? That's a man's dream right there. I mean, literally, you got a dog on the back of the jet ski in the ocean. Doesn't get much better than that.